road you're actually going to remove this because what I want to do is put regular road down. down like that because I can't put uh, buildings in this area uh, I'm gonna go to a sign maintenance center because we want a bit of a larger maintenance center so 20 different types of products have a hundred customers on site. Those are my goals. My profit was three hundred dollars. That's not bad. So we got fourteen different type of products. Can't really do anything else until research finishes. Turnover daily profit of a hundred dollars. Could have sworn, uh, you know. My prophet did that already. You know, two hundred and sixty dollars today. So I guess maybe that will finish once the day ends. So yeah. Now it's just a matter of waiting. We have some more staff parking going down the side here. I don't want my uh, staff taking up the uh, nice parking spots here for the customer. Daily profit of five hundred dollars. Oh right. So I also realized in the shop here, the stalker, stalker doesn't need to come in. Uh, actually, maybe he does need to come in. I'll bring him in at 9 a.m. Instead of 7 before the place opens. Because he no longer needs to stock the place because it's all stocked. Except for this one place that's on in a little low. It's only 40% for him. So that's alright. Beyond that, everything's pretty much full. We've got another research done. Cold train. Fresh fruits, fresh veggies, fresh meat. So it unlocked a bunch of new little stuff there. So that's good. So let's see. We can now put some milk. We can put some dairy in. Stock was going to go stock that up. Janitor will come in and clear the garbage. So that's pretty good. Go ahead and uh, add some more objects here. We need some more coolers. Could use some more shelves. So I know these can do a maximum of 10 customers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So they go over here. Like that, and I can add in a couple more tables because I can just walk around like this. I don't want to want to block customers. 
can you have some fresh meat fresh fish you can head and we'll give you some bed sheets have some dishes I uh, will add some ladies parts add some light bars some more fresh fruit some fresh veggies stock was uh, slowly working on catching up So I can also go and edit my cashiers. You can all start at 8 a.m. now. Because all four of them stay till close anyway, so. Let's see, that's all taken care of. Already. This has a bunch of stuff I haven't done yet. So, let's go check on their needs. Their needs for more soda, more candy, bottled water, canned food. So, I know I can do soda. Pretty sure I said bottled water. We'll add some more milk. Oh, let's see. Cookware and diapers were running low. Cookware, diapers. Now, the table, the table I think I'm actually going to replace because. Haven't had a need for it yet. So I, I got the three already, so. And we'll replace it with another refrigerator. Now we need an, another stock clerk, because I want to have it. I want to have it ready. By the time customers come, I want it all stocked. I'll put another juicer. So the staff are using their staff parking lot, so that's good. Right, so this is looking really good. Yeah, that's looking really good. So we can go ahead and do a new shop. Actually, I want to, before I do that, the road work, customer parking. We want customer parking right down there. As the shop here. 
drop's not doing too bad. We have a 48 size stone. I forgot to put in a storm parking over here and extend the road just a tad bit more to be on the safe side. And then I'm going to put in a new shop in here. What I'm going to do is make the shop like individual items. So I'm going to make smaller shops with one cashier, but those going to be like nothing but dishes in the shop. There'll be like three or four counters of dishes with one cashier, and that's all there's going to be. Then there's just going to be like eight or nine different shops in one place. Then. So, the store needs to stay open longer. And then we'll bring you in at 10. And I'll bring you in at 10 and hopefully you stay till close. It's one of these recent. Oh, it's this one. I want this one first and then I can open my sh run my shop 24 7. Build the oh, I don't have enough money for that. Hmm. I want one like a large building so that way I can just put my multiple shops inside and I don't have to worry about you're fired you, you served your purpose what now you're fired so I guess what I could do is put in another like shop that sells everything or dedicate a new shop just to the new items I unlock. That sounds good. I'll build a new shop just for the new items I unlock. This would be a 20 by... It would be 20 by 20. Objects. Double door. Double doors can go in there. Stack door. This is a wall though. Hmm. Do an odd shaped storage. the cashews are gone. So I'm missing out because I don't have enough cashews. All of them. So that's good to know. 
So we will let's see what time can we open this door? We can open it at six. We can run it till midnight. Alright, so bring cashews in at five at six. At eight at at eight. And a couple more cashews. I have a cashew. I have a cashew. I have a cashew and I have a cashew. So these four are gonna come in at Sixteen sounds pretty good. And then I'll run it. So in here I can run a couple of different shops. How's my research? 27 out of 48 hours. Alright. This guy is working away here. Why did that get built there? Should be here. I'll have to uh, wait for it to finish and then remove that probably. Build, remove walls as object right there. Good. Got enough staff parking at this point. You open up in just a few seconds. Good so far. Rest of my cashews are scheduled to arrive shortly. I have parking spots for them. So you need to come in for that. Look at these lineups. I can do the other one. Portals are full. Research is done. That is done. Perfect. So now I can run.